Hello everyone, welcome back to the session Morphology of Asterius Rubens. Uh, in this presentation, we will be looking into the structure and function of pedicillary. Okay, so you can see in this figure, these structures found on the arms over here, in between and around the spines or tubercles, they are the pedicillary. Okay. Here you have, you can see the structure. Okay, so here you have the, uh, the the tubercle or the spines found on the oral and the um, aboral surface, and surrounding that you can see the pedicillary on the side, right? So this is the figure, the, the image. So this is the uh, spine or the tubercle, and surrounding that you can see the pedicillary, right? So what are these structures? Right? These structures are the dermal branchiae which are responsible for the respiration and excretion okay uh, so the pedicillary they are minute whitish you can see here jaw like structures they are found on uh, both the oral and the aboral surface usually uh, in association with the spine or the tubercles um, the pedicillary they may be stalked or uh, um, sessile but in the case of asterius rubens it is a stalked type of pedicillary which are found uh, and then each of uh, what you call the, um, the pedicillary consists of a short, fleshy, movable stalk uh, bearing two articulating uh, pieces like this. Okay, you can see here, okay, the articulating uh, areas and the uh, lower base, right? So these, uh, you can see here, three uh, calcareous plates support the structure known as the pedicillary okay and this uh, the two uh, articulate articulating calcareous plates they are referred as the valves or blades these these ones okay these two so it, it is actually movable and uh, they bear the two articulating calcareous blades or valves okay and these two it rest upon another uh, uh, calcareous plate okay these two uh, valves or blades they articulate and rest upon the basal piece or the basilar piece it is the third calcareous plate of the uh, pedicillary okay i hope it is clear okay so now such a kind of pedicillary with three uh, calcareous plates the two valves plus the basilar piece and uh, this, this kind of a pedicillary it is known as a forcipulate type so this is the kind of uh, pedicillary which is found in, which are found in the Asteria strubens, the forcipulate type. Okay, so the stalked forcipulate type of pedicillary are found in the um, Asteria rubens, uh, both on the oral as well as the aboral surface. Okay, now when you speak about the valves or blades, the valves, uh, the opposite surface, that is the opposing surface is actually of the two valves, they are serrated as you can see over here, they are serrated. Okay, the opposing surfaces of the valves or the blades. Now, the valves, they open and close with the help of these muscles, the uh, adductor muscle and the abductor muscle. So, these muscles help in opening and closing of the two valves. Okay, uh, now, uh, there are two kinds of uh, pedicillary based upon how they are being positioned. Okay, uh, one is uh, here you can see this one. This is a straight type of pedicillary. Okay, this one and this one it is crossed type of pedicillary. You can see the difference, right? Here you can see the valve. This one is one valve and this is the second one. Okay, what happens? It is crossing each other, but over here they are straight and parallel to each other. Okay, so in the straight type, the valves are straight and when closed, they meet together along their entire length. Over here you can see. But in the case of crossed type, what happens is the two valves, they cross each other just like uh, that of scissors, a pair of scissors. Okay, the straight type of scissor, or sorry, called pedicillary, they occur largely among the dermal branchiae. Okay, where the dermal branchiae uh, are found. Uh, so they are usually, the straight type of pedicillary, they are usually found among the dermal branchiae, while the crossed type of uh, uh, pedicillary, they are found at the base of the spine. So these are uh, usually the uh, crossed type of pedicillary. Okay, what you can find over here. Now, those which are found among the, uh, what you call the, uh, the this one, the, um, Dermal branchiae, they are actually the uh, 
straight type over here you can see it is a straight type okay so the two types of pedicillary now what are the functions performed the pedicillary they help in uh, the main function is to remove the debris okay so they help in capture as well as removal of debris and minute organisms uh, that may settle on the body surface so as already mentioned the pedicillary they are found on both oral and aboral surface and the acetabase ribbons they are found close to the substratum so there ha there is tendency for uh, the debris and the minute organisms like larvae and all getting settled on the body surface okay and these when they settle on the body surface they may actually interfere with the respiration uh, by covering the dermal branchi. Uh, so you can see the uh, pedicillary which are present there, it helps in removing these kinds of debris and minute organisms that get settled on the dermal branchi and also the tube feet. Okay, so it helps in uh, cleaning up the whole surface of the uh, asterias ribbon's body. Okay, so this is about the structure of pedicillary. Fine, thank you.